to the review session. Uh, today I am going to review the goal programming problems from the sample exam. So here is the problem descriptions. Uh, the Lofton company, a distributor of the exercise equipment, wants to decide on how many units uh, to order from two of the most popular models. The company has uh, developed the following linear program to maximize its profit. However, they found that um, it is the infeasible. Um, in the prop program, the X is number of units to to be ordered from first model, Y is a number of units to be ordered from the second model. Um, the profit is expressed as 5x plus 3y, and they have three um, constraints, uh, storage constraint, budget constraint, demand constraint. Uh, because it turns out to be infeasible, they devised them and uh, they decided to uh, drop the original objective. They're uh, maximizing the total profit and established the following three goals instead in order of impo importance. Uh, the first priority goal is uh, following the don't exceed 10 in the storage constraint. And second priority goal is to not exceed 24 in um, the body constraint. And the next priority goal is to not fall off the 16 in the demand constraint. So in order to develop the goal programming, they define the deviation variable di plus to be the overachievement of ith goal and di minus be the underachievement of ith goal. Let's see uh, how to write the objective function for those goals. The first, because we don't want to exceed 10 in the storage constraint, we should minimize uh, overachievement di plus. What about the second goal? Since we don't want to exceed 24 uh, in the budget constraint, in this time, we also uh, minimize the overachievement D2+. Plus. Lastly, because we would like to have at least 16 uh, in the demand, so we have to minimize D3- minus in this case. The uh, objective functions of the linear programs are often summarized in the single line as follows. Here, P1, P2, P3 indicate the objective function for three linear programs. Okay. The goal program will require us to solve three LP in succession. Um, so we can uh, write down the first LP as follows. So our objective, as we discussed before, uh, to minimize D1 plus, to make sure that you don't want to exceed um, the, uh, the first goal. And subject to, this is your soft constraint, 2x plus y is equal to 10 plus D1 plus minus D1 minus and all your distant variables has to be non-negative. After solving the first priority call, let's say you have uh, d1 plus is equal to zero. What does that mean? This means that the first priority call can be completely uh, satisfied. Okay, so you, your, your uh, feasible solution and satisfy your first priority goal. And the next problem is to solve with the minimizing the D2 plus. Uh, we have same constraint uh, from the first problem and we add uh, the soft constraint for the second priority goal as follows. 2x plus 3y is equal to 
24 plus 2d2 plus minus d2 minus is a soft constraint corresponding to your second priority goal. Okay, so you uh, in this uh, sub constraint you want to minimize d2 plus, and we add d1 plus zero, which uh, we actually obtained from the previous LP. And since we add um, two more deviation variable d2 plus d2 minus, all your decision variables has to be non-negative. Okay, so. If you solve this problem and say uh, they found out they need to spend 24, 25, not 24. So what does that mean? They actually uh, uh, spend one more um, than the 24. Uh, this means that D2 plus is equal to one and the second goal is not met there is no way to achieve the second goal while achieving your first goal. Okay, So D2 plus is equal to 1 is the best solution uh, to achieve your first goal. The last problem is then solved with the minimizing D3 minus in this case. We have all the constraints before and add d1 is plus equal to 0, d2 plus equal to 1 from the previous uh, the solutions. And we add a soft constraint dx plus y is equal to 26 plus d3 plus minus d3 minus. And uh, we add this, uh, of course, remember those is, has to be added. And your, all your decision variable has to be uh, non-negative. If you solve this problem, then you we know that how much we can achieve for each goal. Okay. So uh, this is how to solve the goal programming in general. Okay. I hope this helps.